It happened 15 years ago, but today, an Asheville man was in court facing a rape charge. Investigators say that old pictures found at a thrift shop led them to Gary Solvey. NBC 4's Ted Hart is live at that thrift store where those photos were found. Please explain, Ted. Well, Mike, this uh, case came together quickly for detectives after employees of this Salvation Army thrift store found some photographs inside a donated tote bag, photos that showed the suspect engaged in sexual activity with a toddler. Gary Silvey had nothing to say in court today, but police say he has already said enough. He basically confessed that uh, this was him, um, indicated he was a sick person. Police say the alleged rape occurred in 2000. And involved a two year old girl. The evidence from the photographs is pretty clear. The evidence from the photograph is very clear. It's very disturbing. The photographs were spotted by employees at the Salvation Army thrift store. They were in a tote bag and they showed an adult sexually abusing a child. There was other paperwork in the tote that indicated that the tote belonged to Gary Sovey, the defendant. Other evidence, including mail with Sovey's name and a former address in Grove City where the alleged rapes took place. When asked about the photos, Sovi allegedly told police, I am a sick person, that was me, just put a bullet in my head. Sovi also told detectives he pled guilty to gross sexual imposition involving a child in 1989, but they have not yet located the details of that case. Are you concerned that there may be another or other victims here? It is possible that we're looking at other victims, but um, until we have something factual, we'll stay with what we have. Sovi's case was set for a preliminary hearing on June 7th, and bond was set at $150,000 bond. Live on the South Side, Ted Hart, NBC4.